It would explode and destroy all of New York City, parts of Connecticut and New Jersey. Oh. Every Star Trek fan knows that this yes. is the greatest energy source in the universe. Beetlejuice, one of the most iconic stars in our night sky, has entered its final phase. A red supergiant sitting about 642 light years away in the Orion constellation, Betelgeuse has long fascinated astronomers with its sheer size and instability. But now, something unprecedented is unfolding. For months, scientists have tracked increasingly erratic behavior in Betelgeuse's luminosity, spectral output, and surrounding mass ejection patterns. All the evidence is converging on a singular, earth-shaking conclusion. Betelgeuse is about to explode, not just in the abstract sense of cosmic timelines that span eons, but within two weeks. A direct impact event, unlike anything humanity has faced in the modern era, is imminent. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The supernova countdown has moved from speculation to confirmation. This is not a matter of theory. The internal mechanisms of Betelgeuse are collapsing under the immense gravity of its own core. Astronomers and astrophysicists drawing upon real-time spectroscopy and neutrino data now observe unmistakable precursors to core collapse supernova. The helium shell fusion has ceased, and iron buildup has reached a critical threshold. This is the red supergiant's death knell. As its core implodes, an explosive rebound is expected to unleash an unimaginable burst of energy. The resulting supernova will send a wave of radiation and particles racing through the cosmos. While 642 light years may seem like a comfortable buffer, this event's proximity places Earth within the danger zone of its direct energetic reach. This is no ordinary stellar event. A Type II supernova at this distance is not merely an astronomical curiosity, it's a phenomenon capable of exerting real influence on our planetary environment. Betelgeuse's impending explosion is expected to release more energy in seconds than our sun will emit in its entire lifetime. That energy won't just fade into the ether, it will radiate outward in all directions, including straight toward Earth. What is coming is a tsunami of high-energy gamma rays, X-rays, neutrinos, and cosmic rays, followed closely by shockwaves and electromagnetic distortions that will ripple across the interstellar medium. Gamma radiation from a nearby supernova is one of the most high-consequence cosmic events imaginable. When such radiation slams into Earth's magnetosphere, the first point of contact is our protective ozone layer. Current models suggest that even a partial depletion of this layer could have severe biological consequences. Ultraviolet radiation from the sun, normally filtered by ozone, could reach the surface in levels high enough to damage DNA and disrupt ecosystems, even in a short-term exposure window. The Earth's upper atmosphere, subjected to a sudden gamma-ray onslaught, could undergo chemical reactions leading to nitric oxide buildup, compounding ozone destruction and triggering climate anomalies. Aside from the radiative impact, there is the question of light. The explosion will produce a luminous event visible in broad daylight, rivaling and possibly surpassing the brightness of the full moon even under sunlight. For several weeks, Betelgeuse will appear as a new beacon in the daytime sky, casting visible shadows at night and disrupting nocturnal wildlife patterns globally. The night will no longer be truly dark for a time. Circadian rhythms of both humans and animals may be disturbed, with potential consequences for sleep, reproductive cycles, and behavior. As the shockwave approaches, particles will arrive in several waves. Neutrinos, almost massless and moving at near light speed, will arrive first. They will pass through Earth with little to no interaction, detectable only with massive underground detectors. But following close behind, high-energy protons and nuclei, cosmic rays, will reach us. These particles, though deflected somewhat by the heliosphere and Earth's magnetic field, will still inject massive doses of energy into the upper atmosphere, where they can trigger secondary showers of radiation. Satellites in low Earth orbit will be particularly vulnerable. Even with shielding, electronic systems could be scrambled, memory banks wiped, and sensors rendered inoperative. This poses a very real threat to global communications, weather forecasting, GPS, and satellite-based defense systems. Moreover, the geomagnetic effects could resemble or even exceed those of a major solar flare, potentially overwhelming transformers, short-circuiting power grids, and causing widespread blackouts. The economic implications of such infrastructure damage could be enormous. Financial markets, transportation systems, and emergency services are all reliant on real-time data and networked systems. A cascading failure across these sectors could occur even before a physical impact is fully realized. There is also a psychological component to consider. For centuries, the sky has been seen as a constant, stars fixed in their places. 
seasons unchanging. Beetlejuice's explosion would shatter that perception on a deeply personal level. A star going supernova in our own galactic neighborhood is not just rare. It's an event of a magnitude that has shaped myths, extinctions, and epics. Seeing a new star bloom with terrifying brilliance in Orion's shoulder could induce widespread awe, anxiety, and existential contemplation. The mere presence of such an overwhelming celestial display could disrupt cultural norms, religious interpretations, and political stability in unforeseen ways. Astronomers tracking the event have pinpointed the timeline through the detection of a sudden neutrino spike, combined with high-resolution imaging from both space and ground-based telescopes. These observations confirm that Betelgeuse has already passed through the iron core collapse stage. The outer envelope of the star is bulging at the seams, and the resulting implosion is projected to release its full fury in a matter of days. The window is narrow. Less than two weeks remain before the shock front breaks through the outer layers, sending out the unmistakable blaze of the supernova's initial flash. The supernova's visibility will begin as an optical spike, brightening rapidly to become one of the most brilliant points in the sky. Radio observatories will pick up unprecedented emissions with new frequencies flooding the spectrum. Across the Earth, observatories are now in constant operation, gathering petabytes of data per hour. These observations represent the most detailed documentation of a supernova in history giving humanity a once-in-a-million-year opportunity to witness the death of a massive star in full detail. It's an event that, while threatening, also brings a torrent of scientific possibilities. Astrophysicists will be able to refine models of stellar nucleosynthesis. Tracing how heavy elements are forged in the crucible of such explosions, it's in the death throes of stars like Betelgeuse that elements like gold, platinum, and uranium are born. As the shock waves move outward, they may illuminate clouds of interstellar gas, triggering new waves of star formation in regions previously dormant. This is both an ending and a beginning, a rebirth written in cosmic fire. Earth's magnetosphere will flex and ripple under the incoming barrage of energetic particles. Auroras will likely be visible far beyond the polar regions, painting the skies of equatorial nations with undulating ribbons of light. These auroras, while beautiful, signal the extreme stress placed on the planet's electromagnetic environment. Aircraft navigation, high-frequency radio communication, and even marine animal migration patterns, many of which depend on geomagnetic cues, could be severely disrupted. The global community is already mobilizing. Observatories, space agencies, and defense networks have entered a heightened state of alert. Emergency protocols for satellite protection are being deployed. Some low-orbit satellites are being temporarily powered down or repositioned to minimize damage. Airlines are considering rerouting polar flights to lower radiation exposure at high altitudes. Public health officials are assessing potential radiation risks for high-latitude populations and preparing contingency plans for possible increases in UV exposure. This explosion could serve as a natural laboratory for exotic physics as well. There is speculation that the sudden influx of neutrinos and gravitational waves may help test the limits of general relativity and quantum field theory. Underground detectors around the globe, from Japan's Super Cameo Candy to the Ice Cube Observatory in Antarctica, are poised to harvest a flood of data that could challenge or affirm fundamental assumptions about the universe. At the societal level, the looming Betelgeuse event is starting to reverberate through media, education, and daily conversation. Planetariums and science centers are holding emergency lectures and public forums. Social media is alight with speculation, anxiety, and wonder. News anchors speak of gamma rays and stellar collapse with a frequency once reserved for weather reports. Children in classrooms are asking their teachers why a star exploding so far away can still touch Earth. The realization is settling in that we are deeply connected to cosmic events, even those taking place hundreds of trillions of kilometers away. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on the Betelgeuse explosion? Will it impact Earth in two weeks? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.